welcome to the Toy Soldier Outpost. Welcome back to the Toy Soldier Outpost. Tonight we're going to do a little demonstration of this vintage G.I. Joe in his scuba attire. And we're going to compare the vintage to the modern with this G.I. Joe eel. Or no, he's the torpedo. Pretty cool looking character from the box perspective. But we'll open him up today and see what he looks like and what he can do and can't do. So today we're featuring our vintage G.I. Joe. He, came, he comes in with all the scuba gear. He's got his light on his shoulder, the knife on his thigh, fins. Got Joe in the background over here waiting to put the tank on his back. Got his goggle on already and his spear gun. So he's ready to conquer some squids, sharks, or eels, whatever may come his way. So what I'll do is move him back here and we'll bring out, unbox our torpedo. He's number th 73 in the series. Here's all of his gear on the back here. Nice little color art on the side. So what I'll do is, I'll pause the video and get him out of the box. So stand by. So I opened the box and got the torpedo out. Pretty nice looking figure. Got a lot, a lot of the, a lot of your typical movement in him. Full bends. Feet move around a little. But, uh, yeah, all your typical movement. What I did was, after I took him out of the box, I submerged him in um, hot water for two minutes. And uh, it really limbered him up. So he's ready to roll. So he come with a wide array of uh, equipment. He come with the fin his fins. Pretty nice looking fins, red and black. And then he's got his headgear. Pretty nice. Come with a knife, his shark knife to put in his sheath here on his side. And he got his spear gun. No real elastic on it, so it's not much movability to it. Like your Joe's back in the day, it was all elastic. Now it's just all plastic. And you got his backpack, which is his, supposed to be his air tank. Looks more like just a backpack though, but Guess this is your more modern scuba tank. And then they come with a rifle, which obviously he's not going to use this underwater. And it come with a dropout magazine.
nice little AR-10. Guess he can leave this on shore, shore for when he comes back. And you can put your little blast effect in there too, but this didn't come with any. And I haven't purchased any yet. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and uh, we'll get him we'll get him geared up. So stand by as I commence that. So we're back with him all geared up. Got his goggles and his backpack. I keep saying backpack, but his uh dive tanks, got his knife in his sheath, his flippers, spear gun, and his AR-10 at his side, which you'll have to leave on land. Just hope no kid comes along or gets stolen. But yeah, this is a pretty cool looking figure. Pretty impressed with it. All, overall nice figure. So what I'll do is, just for uh, background, I'll uh, pause the video and put a deep blue sea background and give it a little more effect with him and uh, Big Brother Joe. You got Little Joe and Big Brother Joe. So stand by and I'll set that up. So we kind of gave it that underwater deep blue sea effect. And uh, we threw down this crab. That's really the only sea creature I have at the moment. And then uh, they can kind of go digging for their jewels. But I'm sure you could have hours of fun with these guys. It's really a neat looking set. Neat looking figures. Let me know in the comments if if y'all are into these. Uh, I know my base is primarily the big Joes, 12 inch Joes, but let me know if any of you guys are getting into these uh, six inch Joes. They're really fun, I'll tell you that. I really like this character. And uh, I am gonna do an upcoming diorama with this guy going up against the creature of the Black Lagoon. So stand by for that. Separately, what do y'all think about the Big Joe? Have any of you got the scuba gear for your Big Joe? Let me know in the comments. Give me some feedback on what y'all think about these two characters. And until the next video, I am out.